Hello, collective, wherever you are. I hope your summer is safe, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share if you like to share it, and please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you would like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. Um, the information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, but with all of my heart, ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so, and to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You. may god bless your beautiful gorgeous souls tenfold and guy and um also remember make sure you are subscribed because i do giveaways every month but it is for subscribers only and i double check and make sure you are a subscriber so make sure you are subscribed okay and if you have issues if it hasn't been showing up like in your notifications um make sure the notification bell is right you know where you hit subscribe that little bell right there if you click on it and you hit all um make sure it's on all so you get all the messages okay um but yeah um i've been noticing like you know people have let me know this has been happening with them they thought that like i just stopped doing like videos uh readings but i haven't i do readings every day multiple times a day i do not take a day off okay i am not a slacker by no means necessary um I'm not saying that anybody that does is a slacker. Let me just re let me rephrase that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that I just never. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't mean that. <laughs> that sounded so bad. <laughs> All right. You know what I meant there, <laughs> But um, yeah. I, I there's not a day I don't miss a day. Okay, <laughs> I don't miss a day. Um, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but um, any hoodles, Okay. Um, if there's a day that goes by and you don't see, you know, a couple of readings from me, just go on the Vine Messenger one four four K and you know go to videos and you'll see okay because um i don't miss a day <laughs> right um yeah like something like extremely serious would have to happen you know for me to miss a day but um even then i would still probably at least show up once but uh anyway so yeah make sure that's going on and also i've noticed too like you know with people on youtube that i follow too but there is also people in my phone messing with my device i'm sure you're having you know a lot of you have that same um that same problem and if you know they don't want you to to get the message so they might be unsubscribing you or they're just i know that my my platform is under attack you see it you know um you see it, it's very clear and my cell phone too obviously but it is what it is um i know what's meant for me is going to happen and nobody can stop or block it it's all illusions there's not shit that these people can do what's meant for me is meant for me and real quick i just want to take a real quick moment and thank all my karmics thank you one million percent from the heart and soul i just want to thank yous because y'all gonna make me famous <laughs> all y'all hate <laughs> all this shit that you do you just make me stronger more powerful and you're gonna literally make me famous keep up the good work guys i pray for your healing and thank you for making me famous okay <laughs> Oh, all right, collective. I am going to be using my favorite deck, and it's the I Kev Tarot. Um, Kipperish. Sorry, I Kev uh, Kipperish Tarot deck. Okay, Oracle deck, and he has it for sale on Intuitive Kev at YouTube or Fire Sign Intuitive. Just go to his. Yeah, that's been coming out in the pre-shuffle too. We're saying something about a family member has, um, or a family has a demonic entity attached to them. Um, but yeah, if you go to Intuitive Kev or Fire Sign Intuitive, go subscribe to both. He's an amazing reader. Absolutely love him. He has his uh, for sale. Last time I checked was twenty eight twenty eight, um, and he also sells absolutely my favorite. Um, I'm not like getting promoted to this or anything. It's just my honest. Um, you know it's my honest opinion like my honest reviews my uh my favorite jewelry like the bracelets he crafts you know he makes his own produces his in um and protection bracelet the spiritual protection bracelet and the white one right here is this one is his um earth angel um you know bracelet and it's like just the craftsmanship and the energy i feel from these crystals is just absolutely amazing and he prays over his his beads as well um and he also has like his salts too like the bath the bath salt stuff the cleansing salt um he's absolutely amazing and he's like one of my favorite readers all right so yeah i'm i'm sure if you resonate with a lot of stuff that i put out there you're going to resonate with him too because i resonate with him you know what i'm saying so um so i don't know check him out he's absolutely amazing i love him 
Love you, Kev. All right, guys. So while I was waiting for the last reading to upload, okay, the the one, not the last one, I just one up. That that one was the one I did last night, the yellow and blue deck, but it didn't upload till today. Um, but while I was waiting for you know the one I did this morning to upload, um, I was meditating and what spirit showed me was you have some a masculine energy it could be a masculine and his girlfriend they could have a child together um or they're using a child possibly a family member of yours or there's like they use them maybe use to babysit this kid i don't know or like you know something something about like they're trying to freeze you they're very jealous and envious of you they're trying to block you um they're this person it could be a friend of yours like they i don't i don't know you should probably i mean i feel like you could have possibly blocked them by now you it's uh it was either a friend of yours or someone you considered to be like a best friend but was like a complete enemy of yours um it could have been somebody that was like obsessed with you uh but you didn't give them no tail you know what i mean and him and his girlfriend just been going ham on you but they're trying to freeze you they're they could be working with um what was shown to me in my meditation was it looked like uh, clear quartz, like, you know, um, crystals. They could be doing something with crystals or they could have stole. They could have stole. If you um, have crystals, they could have stole one of your crystals or your or crystals um, and could have been trying to harvest from it. It doesn't work that way. And and just for the karmics out there, do you have any idea the bad om the omen that comes from that? You can steal that. Like, anybody that knows about, like, motorcycle clubs and like or anything about, like, you know, like the bell you know that you put you get on your motorcycle and it's the ward off um negative energies like you know so that you don't get into an accident on your motorcycle you can't just go out and buy one you have to have it gifted to you um or else it does the opposite effect well if you steal somebody's crystals and you try to harvest from it it's kind of like that you curse yourself so it's not a smart idea homie um yeah <laughs> yeah that's not good okay um you don't do that so if that's the case or they could be or something about or or like what was shown to me was a clear quartz crystal so that it could be they're trying to attack your creativity okay or whatever you're you um whatever you're creating all right it's not going to work all they're doing is freezing themselves there's something about somebody's gonna get arrested um for something in their glove box or there's something about their glove box in their car or drugs in it or something like that or they're trying to have you like like trapped away in like a glove box type of thing you know what i mean like they want you away um but just know you are protected you are safe you are gucci you are golden let the haters hate because they're gonna make you famous baby <laughs> all right yeah about somebody's about to get a knock on the door like that <laughs> freeze motherfucker freeze <laughs> <laughs> Pussies on the pavement. No, it's not playing. <laughs> it's not playing. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, my pussy's on the pavement. My pussy's on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit, angels, ancestors. Oh, and free truffle is saying <laughs> a family, either a family or somebody in your family, like a family member, could have an entity attachment. I don't know if this person's going back to that person I was just talking about, or these people that I was just talking about, and being like, you know, um, referring. I don't know, but it's it's they're going to get caught by the cops too. And there's something about minors, so I don't know if, if this is somebody that's fucking around, like talking to your child, trying to get inf like information from your child. The cops are aware of this. The authorities are aware of this. They're under investigation. They're going down. And there's a lot of other weird shit that's going on involved in that too. Um, I'm not going to tap into it. The authorities already know about this, okay? Yeah, you're on your pathway, okay? So for your family that's not karmic, you're Gucci, okay? Um, your, your, your family knows you are on the right path. Continue praying for your family, okay? And all the karmic family members that are working with these douchebags, they're they're going down, down, baby. Okay, their pussies gonna be on the pavement. <laughs> they're gonna be, <laughs> they're gonna be in a prison cell. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. I've been feeling amazing. Like I am so grateful for like this, like just so much inner peace. You know, you have no idea. Like it's just, 
I've been praying for peace, you know, um, when Lord Jesus gave it to me, man, I'm telling you, and I just feel so, I can't even express the feeling. Um, it is so grateful. I'm so grateful. So, so grateful. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, yo, how you're feeling, guys. Because literally the last two days, it's just like so much peace and like serenity. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe somebody surrendered themselves, possibly. I'm saying serenity. Maybe somebody surrendered themselves or their karma just whooping that ass so bad. Or maybe somebody passed away. I don't know. Or you're just way too protected. You're about to travel, okay? Possibly you and your family. Because like 10, it's like completion, okay? Uh, you might be going on a trip with your family or your family. Your karmic family might be trying to take off. It might be like a hit throw. Yeah, you're going to get caught if that's the case. But I feel like you might be going on like um, possibly maybe you're planning a trip or something. Or you're going to travel. Or maybe you're going to be moving in a, in the um, distant future. Or your karmic, like, or your family could possibly be worried about you being on your path and you traveling, maybe you moving. All right. I don't know. Something like that's happening here. But I'm strongly getting your karmic family that was coming up against you is trying to, they're trying to hit the road. They're trying to um, run. They're, they're being watched. So don't worry. They're good. You're getting your justice, sweetheart. Don't worry. Okay. Continue praying for it. Karmic masculine is trying to roll, trying to run out. I remember, like I said, like that person, that karmic, um, that was working with your family. They're trying to run. And your karmic family is trying to run. They're going to get caught. Look at him. He has an entity attachment to him. Like, look, I know Intuitive Kev had to have seen a demon in real life before. Because if you ever seen a demon, a true demon... A real demon's eyes look exactly like this. Except for, like, when I seen it, it was, like, more oval. Like, the eyes were, like, you know what I mean? But that's just uh, his style of drawing. But the coloring is so on point. It's insane. This karmic masculine definitely has an entity attachment, without a doubt. So on point, Kev. So on point with that fucking, you had to have seen a demon before. <laughs> you literally had to have seen one. It's so one point. I feel like he has a sex demon because he kind of looks very lusty, like sedate, sedate, like this could be seductive, you know what I mean? If you really look at his eyes and like he, he looks kind of seductive. He could have like a, um, ink, uh, uh, what do you call it? A succubus or that, that's, uh, incubus, sorry, incubus is a male sex demon. A Jezebel spirit. They're just, they're trying to flee, man. They're trying to run, dude. They know what it's in for. Maybe they got some sort of, um, notice in the mail. Maybe they got served, okay? Somebody could have got served because I just looked over at my board over here and I seen the seven of swords. That's sticking out to me heavily. Like, whatever they stole from you. And they're trying to run, possibly. Or maybe they, because, like, if you're under investigation, Ari, um, and right before you get locked up, you feel it. Oh, you know it's coming. I don't have no felonies. I never never had to deal with that. But, like, just with my family and, you know, who my family um, was or is, you know what I mean? Um, growing up my whole life, like, I could feel when, when the house was getting raided. I felt it every time when I was, you know, not, not for my doing. I was a child, you know what I'm saying? But you feel it. Oh, you feel it. You feel the pressure coming. And it's not just because of my gifts. Like... The ones that weren't, that you could feel it too, you know what I mean? Um, and I felt like, you know, my whole life, like, even like, you know, my house used to get fucking raided all the time when I was a kid. Um, but yeah. They, maybe they feel, they either feel it or maybe somebody got arrested and they know something that whoever got arrested is telling. Or if they're paying somebody off and the authority, authority figure, authority, like a figure could have gave them a heads up. Like, yo, dude, y'all shit's hitting the fan. Oh, the download that I, let me just see what comes out first, okay? Because I don't know if that's supposed to come out yet. I feel like it is, but I'm going to wait. Travel, actual money. They could have stole actual money from you. But I feel like you're about to get some sort of actual money and you and your family are about to travel. You're about to go on a, um vacation a well needed and a well deserved vacation i know that's right go take your babies to, to um disneyland or something or wherever you want to go shit wherever you want to go you're gonna have the money coming in but i'm strongly getting looking at this blue van when it comes to the karmics um that's looking like a prison bus to me okay that's looking like a state prison bus or a federal prison bus okay not no county. That's looking like a state or fed. 
somebody's going upstate and they know maybe because they stole some actual money from you a windfall of money look at that money coming from the sky it was a gift from God look at the clouds the clouds like you know went in the Bible anytime God was speaking to anybody he was speaking to them through a cloud right and the this was money from God that was supposed to be meant for you whether it came from an ancestor or whatever situation it is if it was an inheritance it was still destined for you God guided your loved one to leave it to you because they, they knew that you, they can trust you and if somebody took it or whether it was like they robbed you it was a gift from God the only reason why you were getting whatever it was was everything is because of God Everything good is because of God. Well, I guess bad things can be because of God, too, because when God comes in and whoops that ass, that's from God, too. <laughs> and that's exactly what's about to happen here. <laughs> God's about to smack that ass. <laughs> okay? And I'm strongly getting somebody's about to be, they're trying to roll because they know that prison, that, that, that Fed or state van's coming for their asses. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like the paddy wagons are coming to the, the FBI, CIA, ATF, and they're going to end up be getting arrested and then end up transferring over to the state of little confirmation, silent confirmation confirmation my notification just went off but it doesn't I don't know if it makes a noise for you guys but it doesn't make a noise for me it just shows me but that's a notification that's a confirmation but that looks like when they're going from like the county to the state you feel me Ten, eleven, or eleven, ten. I oh, know that's right something's been done okay so completion end of a cycle it's been done it's one over they tried to get one over on you or on something that was already completed, something that you already, you know what I mean? Something that was already destined for you. They tried to get one over on you. That ain't happening. They tried to get one over on God. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And I return it back to the sender with love and light. Because <laughs> they don't know how to act in light or love. You're traveling, sweetheart. I'm telling you right now, you're traveling. You're about to get some money and you're traveling. That's still there at the bottom of the deck. And these idiots are trying to definitely roll. But it's not going to happen. They're going to get caught. Whatever they do, they're being like, they can't outrun God. Yo, you can't outrun karma. You can't lose some form. You can't outrun God. He's coming for you. He's gunning for you. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> Soulmate. You could be with your soulmate, or this could have been like a karmic soulmate of yours. It's in the upright, so I'm feeling like it could be your actual soulmate. They know that you're about to, maybe you're going to meet your soulmate, and then you're going to end up, I don't know, traveling, maybe moving, possibly with your soulmate somewhere. So I don't know. Y'all tell me. I feel like you're already, like this card in this deck, every time I see it, it makes me think of like the astrals. Like you're, you're already connected in the 5D, okay? And it's trickling down into the 3D. It reminds me of like astral projection, you know, or. You know, like in the 5D. Yeah, God's running their asses over like with a lawnmower. Like, you hear that person cutting the grass right now? Somebody has a um, health concern. Health concern, self love. What the fuck's happening here? Opposition, boss. Okay. Self love, opposition, and boss. One second here. Now, soulmates, okay, this could be a karmic soulmate. Now, soulmates come in the forms of loved ones, like, you know, significant others, friends, family, uh, people you consider to be family, and stuff like that, okay? There's somebody with a health concern, and I feel like, you see how I caught these cards? They got caught up. They got caught up possibly either giving somebody or tr attempting to give a somebody, a sweetheart, which is you, um, some sort of health, like, issues. It was an op of yours, but do you love yourself too much? You're, you're, it's not going to happen. You're too protected. You're too healthy. Claim that, all right? I claim my amazing angelic health. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, okay. I just want to double check. Yeah, he's, I always look at this card as like the emperor card. He actually made it as the king of wands. Um, somebody in power is an op or somebody abused their power or you were too powerful for this boss status i was always looking at this as as um the emperor card like boss 
until I actually, like, a reading he did last night or night before, and he was saying it was the King of Wands. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but I interpreted it as the Emperor. <laughs> but it's, like, the King of Wands, yeah. So, you're either too powerful for this, but I still interpret this as, to me, I feel like the boss is, like, like um, you know, it's an Emperor, but it could also be, you know what I mean? Yeah, but he has it as that, but... um. You are too powerful for this, okay? Or it could be somebody in power that was opposition, you know? One of your ops that was trying to, you know, somebody betraying themselves to be there for you, to help you, da da da, da. Whatever the situation is, um, you did have some sort of soul ties to them. And I feel like they got caught up for trying to give a divine being, somebody that loved themselves, okay? A, a health concern of some sort, whether it was you know, trying to give you an STD or just trying to stress you out too because, you know, stress is extremely bad for you. Um, it just came out in a reading yesterday that somebody was trying, or the day before, or whenever, somebody was trying to give you a heart attack. So you know what's going to happen? Look, that op's going to be in the hospital, or maybe they already are. Beaten down and disgusted, knock that shit off. When y'all going to learn? Somebody might need to have, end up like, with a broken arm or an amputation. I don't know why I just got that. Somebody might need their arm amputated. I don't, don't ask me why I just got that, but I just did. I don't know if it's because of IV drug use, maybe possibly. I'm looking at that as like somebody shooting up. I don't know if they fell asleep on a needle or in their arm or what. I don't know if this is what happened or or maybe someone's going to get beat the hell up by somebody in power. Maybe they're going to run from the police, okay? And they already have a health concern or something. And they're like, oh, hey, to the nah. They might be trying to run from somebody in power. The authorities, like I said, they're trying to run. That makes more sense. And they're going to end up getting their... Get the paws put on them. Fuck them up, fuck them up. Fuck them up, fuck them up. They might end up in a hospital with a health concern because they got their beat, they got their ass beat by the cops. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like if the, you know, this. I'm not talking blu uh, police brutality. I'm not talking, and I'm talking like this person's a hothead. You see what I'm saying? They're gonna try and they know that they're about to do a lot of time. So if it's the police have to arrest them and they pull out a weapon or if they're being aggressive to the police and they're or they, you know what I mean? Especially they pull out a weapon and there's like people around. Um, the cops are going to have to protect themselves. I'm not talking no police brutality before some karmic ass person comes in there like, it's police brutality. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is they're going to have to protect themselves because this person's a jackass. And it's part of their karma for what they've done to you. Okay. They're going to learn one, one way or another, that's what I just heard. Yeah, they're mentally and emotionally unstable. They're going crazy. Maybe they got, they found out, man. Maybe they found out some bad news. And it made them bad shit crazy. Or they're just so obsessed with you that, like, I don't know. Snot boogies all coming out their nose and shit. What happened there? Like, this is that, like, look at her eyes. Whoa, hello. <laughs> look at the eyes. Somebody get that brown eyes. <laughs> look at the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like why, Michael like, Agnew? Why would you? Why would you have sent me back? <laughs> I feel like a fight's breaking out. See the blood right here. Somebody you might be fifty-one, fifty status, like mentally unstable. I feel like a fight of some sort is breaking out. Whether it's the police. Maybe, okay, like I said, it's not police brutality, what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, they're going to have to protect themselves, they're trying to run, right, they're trying to travel, they're trying to run, because they know the cops are coming, and they're going to, you know what I mean, or like when the cops come to raid their asses, uh, they're going to try and do something stupid, they're mentally unstable, mentally and emotionally unstable, so they're going to act a fool, right, and they're going to they're, they're gonna end up with a health concern and in the hospital, because they're going to get their asses beat. And it might turn bad, like, okay, health concern, they might end up, like, having to use, you know, force. Like, they might have to use their weapons, if you know what I'm saying. If, like, this person 
it pulls out a weapon on them. If there's children around, they're going to have to take out the, the mentally unstable person. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't feel like the person's going to pass away. I feel like they're just going to end up in a hospital. Beaten up and disgusted like this. Look, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch, you learned the first time? Like, knock it off. Yeah. Pray for the law enforcement's safety, okay? Because this person's really done lost their damn mind. And that's like, if I'm strongly getting that's what's going to happen here. Also, somebody couldn't, I don't know why I got like amputated arm or something. I don't know why I got that. Like when I first seen it, like I didn't see the aims, though I know this, it was like an arm brace, but I seen it with just like, that's how my gifts work. Some of my gifts work. Um, I'll see things that like, it'll look different for a split second, like, or things will like glow, like, like, like sort of like, it'll not really glow, but like, it'll be more heightened to me for a split second. And like, I didn't see the hand there. I just seen that. So it made me think about amputation. Um, I don't know if they're going to get, like, trying to run from the police, possibly, and get in a car accident, and their arm's going to get amputated, or what the situation is, or if they're going to need surgery on their arm, and their arm's going to be paralyzed, or something like that, I feel like it's happening, and I don't know why, when I looked over here, I just thought of IV use, so maybe that could be it, too, I don't know, dude, something like that's going to happen, it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, obviously, we had look oh wow look at this beautiful baby i know that's right whatever you're doing for work look at this 888 abundance of prosperity sweetheart and when like i said when they run from the police like 88 they're gonna get locked up they're getting locked up they're gonna get beat up and locked up while you get abundance of prosperity keep showing up collected don't let these idiots like whatever they try to do just know you're stronger confirmation you're stronger you're more powerful and you are protected and whatever illusions that they cast upon you, especially whatever you're doing for work, um, know that you're more, like it's only an illusion. Okay, don't they're trying they're they're casting illusions or doing stupid little attacks to make you to get you fearful and make you doubt that you know because your faith is everything. Just know like if they can get you to doubt that everything's gonna work out for you, then it's gonna work. But what's been saving your ass this whole time is your faith and your patience. And trusting God. So no matter what's happening, okay, just know that you're you are protected, and God has your back, and everything's working out for you, and you are heavily, heavily, heavily protected. So, for instance, like what I mean by that is like you know how they've been attacking my my um my platform and my phones, um, and like they turn my monetization off, right, and they've been like making it so that I can't do like videos as you know as many readings as, as I wanted to um like so they thought that by doing this it would get you know it would get me all like freaked out angry upset off balance they wanted to try to get me off balance right it's not going to work I already know their attacks before they do all right so um and that I would lose my faith and I would be like worried about that um, especially if they're in my birth chart, they know like when I'm supposed to be made, like when I'm manifesting and stuff like that. Um, they, they do certain attacks, especially when it's very important. When you know you're under attack, it's very important to ground yourself. Do not have fear. Stay balanced because they're purposely doing this to get you off balance for a reason. And usually if, it, if you're, you know, it's a good idea would be if, once you're under attack, Make sure you keep your mind positive and start manifesting what you want because that's a good um, indicator that they know that you're, you're manifesting something right now. That's why they're trying to get you off balance so you can't, so that you'll manifest the, neg the, you'll manifest the negativity into your life, okay? Because that's what their little childish antics are. They know your birth chart better than you do. But they don't realize, like, and keep everything you're doing quiet. Don't go out telling nobody, okay? Um, and again, you have a family member here. Um, I feel like it could be karmic family or it could be somebody that you're still attached to. I don't know. Um, that's going back to these people that are, you know, that are working with these people. It could be like the karmic family that they, that sent these people in or it could still be somebody around you. And it's a family member though. So, you know, if you, even if you have good family that you trust, that you know is on your side, you still don't want to tell them because not unbeknownst to them, they might say something to your other family members. 
like being proud of you you know what i mean like oh look at look at what so and so is doing you know what i mean like bragging about you and they don't realize that that other family member is trying everything they can to tear you down so continue to move in silence okay and again please be careful whenever you're under attack it's very important for you to remain calm and keep your your thoughts positive and just know you're protected right because it's only an illusion it's only an illusion it's just a little attack and it is, and once you learn to um be able to manage your emotions and, and keep yourself balanced especially during rough times like that you're gonna be blessed even more and when you're just trusting in the process trusting that everything's happening for a reason and everything is a lesson and what you learn from it and how you grow from it and the better you learn that lesson the more balanced you stay the more faithful you stay the, the more you trust in god the better the outcome is going to be and anything that you thought you're going to lose will be returned to you plus some it's only an illusion and the better you you your reactions are to this and how you handle it and your faith and all this and like and you trust in god while this is happening um the worse the karma is going to be for these people attacking you and i know trust me like you all see me like the one day i was getting mad i was getting hella mad i was just like <laughs> i know it can, get, it can be like that sometimes okay um <laughs> but like try the best you know it, sometimes it just gets annoying because it wastes all your time and energy and everything else but um once you realize that's what they're doing and i know you know what i mean but like just try to to keep as calm as possible okay and just remember this person mentally and emotionally unstable they're trying to get you that way because they're like this they want you like this and the fact that you're not like mentally and emotionally unstable and they are is getting them even more batshit crazy somebody's having a mental emotional breakdown maybe they're in the hospital now maybe somebody could be could have got 302'd 302 is when you get sent to a non house for like 72 hours um, upon a, like, you know, an evaluation after 72 hours. If they feel you, that you're fit to be able to be in society, they'll let you go. Um, but if not, they're going to keep you longer. I also feel as though someone's going to try to claim um, they're going to try and say they're crazy when whether they are or not. I don't know. But um, I feel like it's more of like a a. a um, they're going to try to get this to, to, so they, they don't go to jail. They're going to regret that. Trust me. Because they're going to go to a state um, mental institution. Not what they think it's going to be. They think they're going to be able to go on the streets and everything. No. Trust me. When I was in jail, multiple times I was in jail. I, and again, I was never a felon. Okay. I took charges for other people. And the charges of um, the only thing I have all misdemeanors. And it was for possession and paraphernalia. Because, you know what I mean? Because I used to do drugs. And I own up to my shit. But anyway um i was never a criminal all right um but anyway but like when i was in jail like many of times i've seen people all right um i've seen so many people that try to pull that crazy card and they the wait first of all you have to go to re2 would you get you get admin locked where you're in a cell by yourself that will make you go crazy and after acting crazy for so long you will literally make yourself go crazy and the wait for the um mental institution like the state mental hospital is like a long time there was i've seen people that were actually bad shit crazy that i came and gone like quite a couple of times and they were still sitting there like you know a couple of years went by and didn't even get in